back if you'd like to come on in and have a seat for some symbolic support or a little inspiration today whenever you may find this if you're new welcome if you're returning welcome home so on the community page we post i posted a scroll with a shaman's palm layout uh, we're going to scry for shapes and symbols that may speak to our psyche and psychic senses as well well there's already oracle cards out and where mr ghosty here is we have ghost tube for any audio additions from the afterlife that may further add to our auric adventures overall please do receive a release freely I want to thank you for your time, attention, and awareness as your perspective and presence is powerful. Gratitude. Let's go. All right, so here's the one layered. If you want to take it in, you know the drill as well. Please see, sense, and feel for yourself. Feel well to comment below. Drop an emoji. Any interactions with the channel is appreciated. I'm going to take a moment to open up. Drawing a nice deep breath. Blood. Closing the eyes, cleansing the palette of perception, releasing the race and the rush, activating the abstract mind and ancient awareness to perceive and receive symbolic support in the name and honor of anyone here at any time. Thank you for being my muse and may you meet a message with meaning. All right. So something funny has been going on with this scroll uh, and layout. So you'll see another video come out soon with the same uh, OG side kind of of the scroll, but with different lucid dreaming cards. I'm going. All right, thank you so much for being here with us. Um, that video will come out later. And then we'll do the other side. And then members for the extended of the Secret Earth Society, you get something all different. All right. Okay. So there is something is being revealed. Okay. Something is being revealed. It's like the Ourobora, Ouroboros. Is it the snake thingy? There's, there's a freedom being felt. I don't know how else to say this. I will show you my indicators in just a moment. Something's being revealed in my cave of rivers of how I'm feeling. I feel like this is me. There's a hand here and it's showing me something. He told me. It's showing me there's a, the best way I can say it is like pixels coming together and it's showing me something. There's a bow and arrow. I feel like you have I'm going to jump between first person and your first person, so forgive me. There's an arrow right here. I feel like maybe I'm manifesting something, but it's in a pixelated state right now. It could have something to do in the Cave of Ice with the digital interface, something that you're doing online and or freeing from only being online or digital, something along that lines. I feel heard. Positive. I feel heard. It feels very positive. It does. So cool. here's the thing I feel about that. Give me a moment. There's a sound machine in my ears, around my ears. It feels very, very soothing. It feels like a sound machine. Waves, fire crackling. There's something in my aura right about in here shoulder just out a bit like that Ouroboros thing or a slow spiral of okay a slow spiral of creation because it's also starving something out this starving is a positive thing I don't feel I like see. it's you I feel like it's something else and it's slowly starving it out like I'm detoxing something out slowly mindfully so that it's not uh maybe you're cutting ties with things or weights that you carry on your shoulder the weights of others worlds that have been placed upon you because i'm seeing like one of those things back in the day when they would weigh i don't know gold or metal or something like that and it's like rrr, 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 rrr. And mindfully that whether whatever these connections are, personal, professional, corporate, creative, 
I don't know that a severing a slice and dice is uh, how you're working, at least in this way. This is a slow, like a slow release so that the detox is uh, long term, long term. I want to come back into, if I may, for a moment, as I said that to whatever it is that you may be manifesting, because as this is slowly like rolling out, because it might have been dominating a mindset, it might have been in this cave of winds in my mind. It could also feel or be something along the lines for you that you're creating, manifesting in this pixelated interfacing connection here. I, th I think you're going to dominate whatever it is that you're doing. And I mean that in a really, really good way because you're looking at things in the cave of hearth fires from multiple perspectives, something about the two moon thing as well. Mm. Apologize. I'm so I got to take you down just a slight notch. I don't know if you are actually hooting and hollering or if it just sounds like that. I'm sensitive in the ears today. It's like taking a piece of this guy down here and this guy and grounding up there. It's in my heart. There's a balancing out. I really do feel like there's something that you're physically doing. And maybe that's what it is. You're typing something physical, a task, but it creates an opportunity to connect with online or a digital sort of interface. Somebody else might be a coder, an application, an application. There might also be somebody who, because I'm hearing that sound, Why I'll be you watching here? you every step you take. See, but it sounds so creepy, actually. Not in a, like, I'll be watching you from heaven. This, the vibe I'm getting is like. Yeah, it's just gross. Um, and maybe they are online. Maybe there's something about that. They are going to somehow reveal themselves or you already know who they are. Because they, oh, here's the thing I'm going to say, stand Keep out. Going upside down in your upside right world just I can yep yeah, I can fully say that and you know something about paper dolls like cutting out paper snowflakes paper dolls uh, that makes me feel like that connection again it makes it feels weak like I can just tear the paper up but it's, you know, when people put things on it's post inside. and it's like, oh, apartment for rent, or are you looking for this? And they got the piece of paper and you, or maybe that does not happen anymore. But, and you would rip off the little sheet at the bottom with their phone number and be like, oh, I'm really interested in this, you know, sofa bed or whatever the case is. Yeah, because they're coming coming for looking looking in it's like I'm seeing a baby crawl oh okay you know what so you might be sensing give me one moment before I wander over to that other rabbit hole angel yeah I can see them there they're right there so imagine I'll bring out my scry hole just in case see that person right there right there say that to you if you can plop yourself in there if you're still here with me anyway but then see the the negative space around it oh I can see them again I see how big this is that's how big your spirit animal is is it spirit animal hold on Okay, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say spiritual energy in general. I could land in aura land. I could say your aura, but it feels like its own. It's working with you. It's working with you. Something may have felt slow. I don't know that it really is though. <clears throat> mm. 
Okay, thank you. So in the cave of earth, if you see in this card, it's very explanatory, the six realms. And it's like coming out of the skin. You are a very large being, spiritual being. I don't know how else I got to write that down. In this human form. Yeah, there's somebody looking at their phone here or reading a book. You might be making a book or writing a book, reading a Release. book. I have somebody's head on a stick. Okay, so the, I can't even call it the other side scry <clears throat> because it's the same side scry, but with different cards. And this is tying into that. There's so many layers. There's so many layers of the six realms. There's like things that you're doing simultaneously or their causes and effects are working within like six energy lines, six lifetimes, six archetypes, whatever the case may be is, they are serving, like one thing serves six, one thing serves six. I also feel like there's a skin of sorts that I am being released from and it's coming soon, this embodiment. It's, it's like that whole metamorphosis with the butterfly and the eagle. Feels more eagle-esque because I feel as though I am taking off a mask that was molded for me. It still fits. I'm going to decorate it differently. Sun. There's a lot of, sh I feel that maybe is just strong arms. I don't know if you have felt strong armed into things at points in your life. And maybe that could have like impacted the intellect or your drive for things. I feel as though I've taken a step out of these conditions, whatever I might have felt strong armed in to incubate. And kind of, I'm seeing someone like take off makeup. I don't know if it's like a wipe or I don't know. I don't wear makeup, so I don't like, I know like I've worn makeup, but I don't know Day. like the way it is nowadays because there's crying mascara of sorts. It's like realizing something about someone or something in your life, personal, professional, corporate, creative, romantic, platonic. Oh. Okay, so that just came through quickly. I'm going to dive into that rabbit hole in case it's a message for one person and thank you for holding space for them to receive it. It's like going undercover because you have an inkling about something because I'm seeing that show boss undercover or something like that this could be applied to a relationship but I'm stepping into it from like a uh, corporate world or your boss or your job or whatever and I'm seeing the show boss undercover I think that's what it's called and you go in as like a regular employee to see how things are working in different areas different departments maybe up to six hunger and you find something out or you find some things out. Mascara. You take off the mask because it's like, oh, I've been, you know, undercover. Maybe you are also an undercover agent, undercover cop or undercover something or other. Maybe you're an undercover higher self, something or other. I don't know. And you take this mask off because your duty for the day is done in whatever regards this is in this. And you're like... Oh, you got to deal with what you saw. You got to deal with that because in all these different departments, these energies, people, places, or things like say it's like a big old hotel and you, you were in the laundry room and then you were with dining and then you were with valet parking and all these different areas of this hotel, this holistic hotel. And you're like, Oh my goodness. I didn't realize how unhappy 
the conditions were or the plumbing needed to be replaced nobody said anything and then you find out they didn't say anything because whenever they go to their manager they you know don't be a pest don't you know don't be a bother do you see how this all ties in in, in whatever regards this is so even if it's like growing up in six stages and you might be coming into your seventh chakra seventh seventh year cycle does that make sense maybe somewhere like your crown chakra cycle if, if i don't know if it's real and that's not my concern it's like say if the first seven years were the root chakra fundamentally speaking in some way shape or form well all of them are there let's just say seven years and then the next seven years is the sacral and you've worked your way up to the crown but I feel like I've been focusing on the six, maybe the third eye and some sort of skill or intuitive skill, also adapting to different landscapes. And I'm right here. I'm at the throat. There are woodpeckers at my third eye and there's actually a tunnel that makes me feel like Kundalini energy. It's also right here as well. It's like my spinal staff or staff of the spine. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? And I want to take a moment to ask, like, how are you doing? Because I think that you've been quite... I just, I feel like you found some things out while it's very freeing. It also affords you the opportunity to repair things. And I think it's like by fixing, say, in this holistic hotel example, you find these things out and you're like, oh, my God, you know, the, the wiring needs to be replaced. So and then while that might be disappointing or it's expensive and maybe sometimes along your life, you've things have been expensive. I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about maybe your childhood or adolescence or young adulthood or a job, another job a partner, a relationship, and it was expensive energy. And now in something, that, anyway, so it's like you go and you fix the wiring that helps the washers and the dryer run better, that helps the cooks and the kitchens have more power, that helps the, the rooms, each room have a steady lighting and it's not shaky. Like you help the whole thing and alleviate a hazard I hope this makes sense somewhere. I feel like it does. And I know you guys are well wise enough to, to piece what you need to piece together, what stands out and leave the rest. Because at the, at the end of this earth day that I'm going to call it, you make choices that help up to six. It's like all the Nail. caves and your mid-world of the palm. These different archetypes, these different, it's like by helping the janitor of the mind, the, the administrator of the mind, the healing of the heart, the body, like it's the benefits roll out to even maybe lineages that you're working on or past lives. And I... Yes catalyst out of that skin first it's the mask and then it's the whole skin and it's like this freeing feeling is here the freeing feeling is here falling here but then it's like coming down in alice in wonderland but she hasn't turned yet like Damage. gravity is holding her there in this threshold Stop. and there's the threshold and it's like you take something off or, and you look around. Here's the other thing before I let you go because I tend to yammer. For someone specifically, and thank you again for holding space, you might be masking grief, masking everything's okay, and whatever regards this is in depression uh, unsurety
And there are others that you can find Seller. or you do find solace with to take off that mask and say, I'm scared. Oh, it's going to make me cry. I say, I don't know what to do. I'm hurting. And these people who they are, and it might be up to other six Lord. people that you commune with, you connect with online or in person or just on the phone. You talk to them. You have things in common. They help your sovereignty feel strong in not knowing. I'm seeing my book downstairs, the book of not knowing. And you know what's funny is I really don't know what's all the way through it because to this day I haven't made it all the way through. It's okay. That's a strength. They help you see strength in that. They don't give you solutions necessarily. Let me show you. They inspire you what maybe has worked for them, what didn't. And maybe what didn't work for them may work for you great. Or they just let you breathe and let it go. Like, talk it out, to fall into it, knowing that you are around trusted people. And maybe sometimes for, again, for one other person or a few, when we have talked about being dominated in certain areas, wow. and however that may have happened, I'm in this realm, sorry, I'm with these two, in the mind and in my feelings. A cave of winds. I don't know. Oh. So as I tell you, as soon as I go in here, it's like a... Whoosh, whoosh. It takes me a minute to ground in there. And then in the cave of rivers. Here's the thing. This creature, character under the veil is revealed here. My true feelings are, re are revealed. So maybe that part isn't about somebody else. Or one dimension of existing has been dominating. And maybe it's density. <clears throat> maybe it's divinity. Maybe whatever the case is. Digitally. But before I let you go, all I can see here, I swear I saw lies, lies. There's all of these abilities like go, go gadget. There's a carving of something out. It's what we want. Makeup being put on, makeup taking off. Doesn't have to be makeup, but the make up, the make up of your multidimensional nature. And it's like, there's a makeover happening and there's six realms cheering. Six realms of your reality are cheering. I hope this did serve, inspire, educate, or entertain. I'll see you again soon. Until next time. So much love. Bye. Ooh, a little bit.